Hi friends, welcome back to PS Diesel Photoshop and Photography Tutorials. I am super excited to show you how to create mind-blowing window light effects in Photoshop today. So let's dive right in. First things first, duplicate the background layer by simply right clicking on it and choose duplicate layer. Now head over to the image menu, click on adjustments and select desaturate option. This step will help us achieve that realistic look we are aiming for. Now let's add some magic, go to the filter menu, then blur and choose a very useful Gaussian blur. A blur radius of 4 pixels should be just perfect, click on ok to apply the blur. Now it's time to save this file, save the file as displays.psd and keep it safe. Because we're going to use this file for adding realistic distortions or seamlessly blending objects into a new background. Fantastic, we are making progress. Now let's bid farewell to the background copy layer since we won't be needing it anymore. We can delete it without any hesitation. Moving right along, the next step involves creating a new document. Go to the file menu and select new. Choose a size that suits your workflow. I would recommend something like 700 by 500 pixels and hit that shiny blue create button. All right, grab the shape tool now and draw a shape similar to the one shown on the screen and remember to fill it with black color to achieve the desired effect. With the shape in place, switch to the move tool. Now hold down the alt and shift keys for windows users. If you are using Mac, hold down the option and shift keys. Then click and drag the shape to make a copy. It will make a duplication. Now. Select all three shape layers, hold down the alt and shift keys again and click and drag to create additional copies of the shape. Keep going until you have the desired number of shapes. Good job so far. Now here comes the fun part. Go to edit menu and select define brush preset. Give your new brush a cool name like window brush and click ok to save it to your presets. Now it's time to close our current document but don't worry as you close it you will notice that the newly created brush shape magically appears in your cursor. Now let's add a new blank layer by clicking on the designated plus button. Select white as the color or go wild and choose any color that complements your photos. Now to adjust the brush size press the bracket keys. Click on the new layer and watch as the shapes magically appear on the canvas. To enhance the effect, change the layer blending mode to overlay and boom, it looking great already. Now to give your window shapes that extra touch of realism, press Ctrl or Command plus T to activate the transform tool. Right click on the layer and select distort. Now grab the middle handle and drag it downwards to distort the shape. We are going to mimic the appearance of light passing through a window. Ok, now right click on the layer again. But this time, I am going to convert it to a smart object. Let's add a touch of finished with some blur. Go to filter menu, select blur and choose Gaussian blur. Applying a blue radius of around 9 pixels should do the trick. This step will soften the edges of the window shapes, giving them that delightful out of focus look. We are almost there. Now head back to the filter menu, select distort and choose displace. Keep the horizontal and vertical scales at 10 and click on OK. And now we are ready to bring in the magic. Select the displace.psd file that we created in the first step of this tutorial. This displacement filter can be used to seamlessly integrate new elements into an image. For instance, if you want to place a logo or design on a fabric, you can use this displace filter to make it look as if the design is naturally confronting to the folds and contours of the fabric. Now let's zoom in for closer look. After applying this incredible photo effect, you might notice that some areas of the skin appear blown out or overexposed. No worries, we have got a fix for that. 
To tackle the issue, select the background layer and duplicate it by right clicking and choosing duplicate. Change the layer blending mode to multiply. I am going to add a layer mask to the duplicated layer. Then go to the image menu and choose apply image. Keep all the settings at default and if you check the invert option, it will fix the underexposed areas. Alternatively, if you leave it unchecked, it will fix the overexposed areas. For this case, we are going to fix the overexposed area, so I am going to leave it unchecked and click OK to apply image function. Just like that, the blown out or overexposed areas magically get fixed with this neat trick. And finally, you can select the move tool and you can move the window light around and place it wherever you fancy, get creative with it. That's it friends, here is the before and after effect. I hope you enjoyed this photoshop tutorial. Thanks for watching, please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more photoshop tutorials. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications from this channel. See you guys in my next video, take care and happy editing.